Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. This is going to be the start of a weekend vlog and I am solo momming it this weekend. Kevin is in one of his good friend's weddings and I unfortunately was not able to go. Lexi is homecoming this weekend so somebody had to stay behind and hold down the fort. So that person is me and I'm gonna go ahead and just vlog the weekend of what it's like when I, you know, I'm so low mom in it. So it is about 2.30 and Kaysen gets out of school in about 25 minutes. I just got done filming um, for my makeup of the week video. It's up, pretty sure it's up before this video. So if you missed that video, I'll link it down below for you. You can just go to my channel and it'll be one of the recent ones. Um, but Lainey's sitting here with me. She has been up my button around the corner lately, but it's totally fine and she wanted to sit here with me while I filmed. So yeah, I think what I'm gonna do today, or this afternoon, is she talks nonstop, nonstop. Um, I told the kids I would take them to Chick-fil-A for dinner tonight, and um, then we'll probably come home, and Kaysen has been wanting to play his video game all week. We stopped letting him play video games during the week, um, and only have it on the weekends and it actually has been going really well He didn't ask for it at all this week. So he's excited to play his video game tonight But um, we'll probably have a little movie night on the couch because freeform used to be ABC family has started their 31 days or 31 nights of Halloween and then all of their like favorite Halloween movies are coming on tomorrow um, Lexi may be going to her homecoming football game tonight. I don't think she's fully decided. And then one of her girlfriends is coming over tomorrow evening and they're gonna get ready together and then I'm gonna drop them off at the dance. Um, Kaysen has a birthday party to go to on Sunday evening. I'm not thrilled about a kid's birthday party being on a Sunday afternoon, but it is what it is. So I need to take him to Target one day this weekend to pick out a gift for his buddy. It's one of his favorite friends in his class that he talks about all the time. So um, we're gonna go do that. It's at a place called Urban Air. It's like a trampoline kind of ju indoor jumping place. So he'll have a lot of fun doing that. So I washed my hair today. It's funny to say that, but I typically only wash my hair a few times a week and I've actually been washing my hair more often, I don't know why I just started to, but I used my Amika Purple Shampoo today, the Briogeo Deep Repair Hair Mask Conditioner. I love that stuff, been totally loving it. And I actually took the time to put all the proper products in my hair, blow dry it, curled it right after I blow dried it. So I'm having a really good hair day. I am so lazy when it comes to doing my hair. Just, I work out, a lot during the week, like five to six days a week, and I just get so sweaty and gross. I'm like, I don't have time to do my hair every single day, but I, I really need to make the time to do my hair because having nice, freshly done hair is just, it makes a world of a difference. Even if I don't have any makeup on, if my hair is done, I feel more put together, but I just don't have the time for it all the time, and I honestly am kind of lazy when it comes to doing my hair. So, um, so yeah, I'm having a really good hair day, and I feel like my hair, has been growing so much so quickly. I feel like it wasn't that long ago that I cut a lot of length off and it's already gotten pretty long again, which is not a bad thing. I also need to get my uh, balayage touched up or balayage or whatever it's called, but my girl is out until November, so I can't get it done until November. Um, since my roots have grown out quite a bit, uh, my hair is a little bit darker and I actually like it. So when I go in to get my roots touched up, I am going to have her put some darker pieces in it just to go darker for fall and winter. That's typically what I do with my hair. Um, I only get my color done twice a year. That's why I love the balayage so much. Um, it's just so low maintenance. So in the spring, I get a little bit more blonde and in the fall and winter, I usually add a little bit of dark into it. But last fall and winter, I didn't. I actually went lighter. But I really actually am happy with the color right now. And I mean, I haven't had my hair done I think I got my hair done in like April and it still looks so good. I think it looks good. I mean, it's just so low maintenance and that's what I need. I don't I, I don't wanna be going to the hair salon all the time. So um, I've been kind of chatting with you guys for a while. So it's about time to go pick up Kaysen and I'll bring you guys with me.
kids are eating their snacks, so I am going to do some laundry. I washed our sheets today, so I'm super pumped to sleep in my bed with fresh, clean sheets tonight. And then um, did some of our laundry, so I'm gonna fold and put this away. I used to just save laundry days for Sundays, and now I kind of do laundry a few days a week. Sundays was like a big job to do our laundry all the towels the kids laundry and it was just too much so i find that doing little loads here and there even doing one small load a day um, i just am able to stay on top of things a little bit better and it keeps us from running out of stuff if we you know have something going on on a weekend and i just don't have time to do it so yeah i've just been doing a little bit of laundry every single day and it's kind of been working out for us um I used to think about, oh, people that do laundry every single day, that sounds terrible, but it actually is kind of easier. You don't feel like you're doing so much at one time, and it's just a lot easier to stay on top of things. Hi, little sister. Lainey and I are uh, hanging out. We're watching a Casey Holmes fall makeup video. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Love you. Are you a baby cat? Sweet sister. I'm going. Uh, nowhere right now. I'm going. Nowhere right now. I'm going. Where do you want to go? Halloween. Halloween? It's not Halloween time yet. Something a little unexpected just happened. I went upstairs earlier, like an hour ago, to check on Kaysen because he was playing video games and it was hot as crap upstairs. And this is the third time in the last like two months that our AC upstairs has gone out. And Kevin's out of town this weekend and I'm like, this is the last thing that I wanna deal with. So um, thankfully we were able to get our AC guy out here really quick and he just left. Thankfully, I don't think it's a big deal, but we had two huge air filters in our attic. I had no idea that they were even there. I don't think that since this house has been built, I don't even think the people before us, okay. <laughs> I don't think that the people that even lived here before us knew that those existed up there and we think that because the filters are so dirty that it was shutting off the AC up there and that it was getting overheated so the kids and I are making a um, trip to Home Depot that was not on the plan today it's like a special sized air filter they're like four inches thick so you can't get them at like a Walmart or a Target so we're going to um, Home Depot and then we're gonna pick up some Chick-fil-a so just the thing I wanted to deal with on my solo mom weekend. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. Okay, put your sister down. Oh, jeez, y'all are gonna get hurt. Yeah, no, no, Bubby's not a horsey. All right, let's go. We gotta go to the store. Got the air filters we needed. One for each unit. We have two units. And, of course, we did not take Kaysen's baseball stuff out of the car, so... We just gotta pile it in here. Also was able to find the special light bulbs that the kids need for their bedrooms. My bedroom. We are making moves. Yeah. Making money moves. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm sweating bullets. My hair is up. I went to the attic and replaced both air filters and it's hot as crap up there. The kids just finished their dinner. We got Chick-fil-A for dinner. And now we're watching Nightmare Before Christmas. Okay, so I just finished my skincare routine and Lainey was in the living room watching Fancy Nancy and she wasn't in here. Um, and I had to run and get the camera because I found where she was and it's so funny and so cute and I had to share it on the vlog. Little sister, what are you doing? You look so cozy. Hi.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just finished getting ready and filming my makeup of the day for my makeup of the week video. And the kids and I are getting ready to go to Target. Kaysen has a birthday party tomorrow, so we need to pick up a birthday present for his friend and then we'll probably go scoop something up for lunch. I am feeling so puffy today. I have definitely caught some sort of little cold or bug and I think it's mixed in with allergies as well because the weather is to the point to where it's starting to change and I feel just so puffy and swollen today and my skin is so dry today. For one, I think since I've had some breakouts recently that the treatments that I've been using have dried out my face but also just from being stuffy and kind of sick, my skin has just like depleted of all its moisture. So I'm feeling dry, puffy, swollen, all the things today, but we're gonna power through because I am solo momming it this weekend, so there is no time for downtime. I mean, there kind of is. We're just gonna chill later, but still, we've got things to do, so I have to power through. We just got back from Target. I'll share with you guys everything that we picked up. Um, the kids each got a little prize. Kaysen got some Legos. Their lunch is ready. Lainey's chowing down. Kaysen is too busy putting his Legos together. I did not vlog in Target because as soon as we left the house, I legit started feeling really terrible. Like I'm legit sick. Like I feel like I borderline may have the flu and it's super early in the season, but I know it's already going around. Um, so I got some more medicine while I was there because I really feel pretty rough. But I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up from Target because I got a little more, like always, than I expected to get. Okay, got a giant thing of strawberries. I got stuff to make cookies. So. Um, I follow Hey Kaylee on Instagram and on YouTube. And on Instagram the other day, she I'm pretty sure it was her, posted this cookie recipe and it sounded freaking amazing. So it's one can of pumpkin puree, a box of the spice cake mix. You don't actually like make the cake and put the added ingredients, you just add the spice mix, the pumpkin puree, and then some milk chocolate chips. And then I got some parchment paper to cook it on. And she said that it's an amazing, super easy cookie recipe. So I think I'm gonna try to make this. I'm hoping I start to feel a little bit better, but this sounds so good. So I can't wait to see what this tastes like. I got more pull-ups for Lainey. She does not wear these during the day. Those are strictly for at night. Um, I got me some cold medicine. More paper plates. We go through paper plates quite a bit. It's just super easy for snacks and breakfast and stuff like that. Um, some Velveeta for queso. Kids love them. Some apple juice. This was Lainey's little prize that she picked from the store. They've been really, really good lately and I haven't got them a little something in a while. So I let them each pick out a little something. So Lainey picked out Bo Peep in case and got a little Lego set. And then I grabbed a couple little Halloween decorations. I've already put up my fall decor, but I put up very minimal stuff this year. Um, and I don't have any like Halloween decorations. So the kids really liked these two stuffies. So I'm probably gonna put those on the mantle. And then I got these two for the yard. So um, this one just says pumpkin patch, haunted house, and ghoulish garden. And then I got a ghost and it says trick or treat. I'm gonna go ahead and start making the cookies and uh, I ate an Uncrustable and I guess a big ol' blobba jelly fell on my shirt and I don't feel like changing my shirt. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make the cookie dough and probably just make the dough for right now and like stick it in the fridge and let it set for a little bit and then cook them later. But I figured I would film the cookie process. Got my cookies on the cookie sheet. From what she did or what I could see in her video, she just took a spoonful and just plopped it on the parchment paper and cooked them on 350 for like 12 to 14 minutes. So I really have, I have no idea how this has turned out. So 
we'll have to wait and see. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to, but I trimmed the parchment paper. It just seemed like a bit of a hazard to have so much left over hanging on the sides. I didn't want it to like catch fire or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop these in the oven now. Okay, this is how they look. They are very fluffy. It's almost like one of those like cake cookies or like a muffin kind of thing. I took a little piece off of this one. Y'all, they are really good. Really, really good. Not your traditional cookie because of how fluffy they are and the texture but they are so good. I highly recommend getting the milk chocolate chips if you're gonna do this because they're so nice and melty and sweet. Definitely recommend this. I'm gonna make these for like Thanksgiving to bring like as a dessert, possibly even Christmas. These are so good, but definitely the perfect treat for Thanksgiving. I just put Lainey down for a rest. It was time, plus mom needed a break. I'm just like, I'm starting to feel a little bit better since I took that medicine, but I still am just like, I need to take like an hour to just relax and not do anything for anybody you guys you guys feel what i'm saying but i decided on where to put those two little halloween stuffies i didn't end up putting them on my mantle i actually in this vlog i think i'm going to show you how i decorated for fall um because i haven't showed you guys that yet and i did it a lot more minimal this year than I have in past years. But I decided to put them in the kitchen because they were gonna cover up my sign on my mantle. So I got this little Boo Ghost. I found them where all like the Halloween decor and the candy and stuff are, and they were really affordable. I got all these little pumpkins from Target too. These are from the dollar spot. And then each of these stuffies was $7 a piece. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then I put the kitty cat over here. And there's more little pumpkins there. So I think they're cute in the kitchen and they go really well. They're like a nice height, so like they look nice next to my sign and my other decor that I have in here. So I think those are so cute and the kids really like them. Happy Sunday, guys. I'm coming at you looking extra rough. Kevin finally made it home, um, but he was home for literally less than 60 seconds. He dropped his stuff, took Lexi and her friend, took the friend home, and then Lexi had a driving lesson this morning. Um, she has her permit, so she has to get, you know, driving hours under her belt so that she can get her license. Um, the kids are upstairs. They're driving me absolutely bat crazy, fighting nonstop. It's just, and on top of it, I just don't feel good this weekend. So it just <laughs> kind of sucks, but I just made me some breakfast. I'm watching church on the TV. I really need some Jesus this morning. So I don't go crazy on my kids. <laughs> Oh gosh, they're driving me nuts. They're in that stage where they either are playing well, they're up my butt, or they hate each other and they're fighting like crazy. It just, I need some help. <laughs> my coffee made some avocado toast with some egg on top and I am gonna try to enjoy this meal in peace and quiet and hope that my kids can just not scream for the next five minutes. Hey guys, it is a few days later and I am finally getting over this like sinus infection I have or whatever it's been. I did not film much at all on Sunday because I was feeling so crummy and I was not, just, I just couldn't do it. So it's Wednesday now and I still have it. Like it's still lingering but I just feel a lot better and I know that I'm now on the mend. So I'm sorry that Sunday we didn't get a lot of footage, but I feel like I got a lot of footage the rest of the weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.